And finally tonight, a major blow to the Washington Redskins. The U.S. Patent Office canceled the NFL team's federal trademarks, a big step in what some hope will pressure the franchise to finally change the name. Hampton Pearson has more. The Patent Office ruling says the Washington Redskins should lose federal trademark protection because the name Redskins is disparaging to Native Americans. The campaign to change the team name has gained momentum, with statements in recent months from President Obama, civil rights groups, and lawmakers from both parties. Today on the Senate floor, Majority Leader Harry Reid called on Redskins owner Daniel Snyder to change the team name. This is extremely important to Native Americans all over the country, that they no longer use this name. It's racist. Daniel Snyder says it's about tradition. I ask, what tradition? The Redskins' trademark at issue goes back to 1967. In the nearly 50 years since, the Redskins' team value has soared to an estimated $1.7 billion, third highest in the NFL, according to Forbes magazine. The Redskins will appeal in federal court. The team's trademark attorney, Bob Raskoff, says it's a rerun of a 1999 lawsuit that was overturned four years later. We've seen this story before, and just like last time, today's ruling will have no effect at all on the team's ownership of and right to use the Redskins name and logo. Legal experts say Native Americans suing to get rid of the trademark face an uphill battle. From a court's perspective, you do not want to eradicate that goodwill that's been built up for a quarter of a century or a half of a century because someone wakes up 25 years into the goodwill being built and thinks that they don't like it or that it's disparaging. No reaction today from players at the Redskins minicamp, but team owner Dan Snyder remains the focus of fan angst from those on both sides of the issue. My reaction is little Danny Snyder is going to make two fortunes. One, selling the old Redskin merchandise. Two, selling the new. Eventually he's going to cave and he's going to do it. Money makes um, you know, owners pay attention. So if, if uh, people refuse to buy the logo with the Redskins name on it, I think he would pay attention to that. I think he would. If today's decision is upheld upon appeal, it would make it harder for the Redskins to go after those who profit from the sale of unlicensed merchandise. Meanwhile, the battle over the Redskins' name continues in both the court of law and the court of public opinion. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.